Previously on The Bill. No, no. Where is he? He's taken medicine. What? He says he'll give her back on one condition. At a swapper. For you. Will you marry me? Now get closer. Yeah, I'm trying. It's my daughter we're talking about here, sir. Do you think I don't know that? Listen, if anything happens to Madison, if we've ever heard... It's not, is it? He's on the run. He wants to disappear. But just because he said a few weeks ago he wouldn't hurt her, that does no good today. Why not? Well, because the stakes have changed. He's running for his life. If Madison becomes a burden... Look, I'm getting a deja vu here. We've been here before, haven't we? You know, you have an annoying habit of mixing with the wrong sorts of people. Whatever. I just can't do nothing. Not while he's got Madison. What, are you suggesting a TV appeal? Christine said that he'd do a swap, me for Madison. I mean, it's worth a try. Get real. Right, there's no left turn here, so you're gonna have to do a right. Stop, he's gone the other way. Behind, behind. Drive a decamp to running down alley on Slate Road. Damn. Just missed him. Joyrider, Sierra Oscar from 298. Go ahead, 298. I think Joyrider was off the mark. Go ahead, 298. It was just lying there in the gutter. Well, how'd they do it? Metal cutter, probably angle grinder. A piece of machinery that's cost me a couple of grand in the last month alone. Hang on, sir. How you doing? What are you doing here? I've heard the call on the radio. I'm sorting this. Well, I'm glad someone is. What's the problem, sir? Somebody is trying to put me out of business. This is happening virtually every day. Any idea who's doing it? Oh! I know exactly who's doing it. He always leaves his card. You have a choice. You can play it my way, or I'll send you home, lock the door, put two PCs outside. What, you're asking me just to do nothing? Yeah, that's about the strength of it. Yeah, but how was I to know what the outcome was going to be? Well, Weaver was never going to be too pleased, was he, with you sleeping with Christine? Most husbands tend to get annoyed when somebody knocks up their missus. And to add insult to injury, you double-crossed him when he was going after Nick Klein. So who's heading the MIT squad? Sherlock Holmes, as far as you're concerned. Look, I'll keep you informed if there's any developments. He's just doing nothing. What's he to be, home or here? Here. Gov, it looks like uniform stumbled over some coke. Go on. Um, RTA, um, driver failed to stop. They gave chase, he legged it, but left behind what looks like a kilo of cocaine. So I'm on my way over there now. Right, take uh, Phil with you. I'd rather... I don't care what you'd rather do. DS6 is going to keep her eye on you. But, Gov... And she's going to let me know if you so much as think about taking a leak. Do you understand? Thanks, Sam. Gov. caught this clamp crusader in the act? If I had it done, I'd have wrapped his angle grind around his head. I strongly advise against you doing that, Mr. Howe. This might seem like a bit of a joke to you. It's a toss-up, isn't it? Who do you hate most? Wheel clampers or traffic wardens? I'll work in a factory eight to five for the last 20 years and then they make me redundant. I've put all my redundancy pay into this business and now some moron is out to bankrupt me. OK, well, we'll see what we can find out about him, Mr Howe. Yeah, we've got his website, so if people can call him up to get rid of their clamps, then we can find him. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Mr Howe. Cameron, I need to talk to you about yesterday. You need to talk about it. What about me? I'd just like to know what happened. I mean, have you turned me down? Are you still thinking about it? What? It's not as simple as that. Well, it is to me. Carrie, I proposed to you because I want to marry you. So you can either say yes because you want to marry me, or no because you don't. Yesterday was a bad day, okay? It wasn't the right time. Do you know when might be the right time? I've been married before, Cam. It's a huge step to take. Carrie, you haven't been married to me before. Come on, this has got nothing to do with your past. It has everything to do with it. You just... 
sprang it on me. Didn't you think I'd be a bit surprised? Well, I thought you might like the idea, but clearly I can see I was wrong. Don't make me feel bad. Let's just pretend like I never said anything, okay? I take it all back. Let's just forget it ever happened. All right, let's just concentrate on the job then. See what this is all about. So you didn't get a look at the driver? Black kids, that's all I can tell you. Well, if it is cocaine, someone's going to be very upset about it. So we'll get it checked and fingerprinted along with the car, yeah? Who's the owner? Nobody. It was bought at an auction six weeks ago by a Mr. M. Mouse. Surprisingly, it wasn't registered at the DVLA. 298 from Sierra Oscar. Go ahead. Possible shoplifting offence at 412 Westbury Road. Suspect detained for shoplifting. Informant the owner, Mrs. Alami. Yeah, we're on our way. Listen, I'm going to shoot back to base. There's no point in us both staying here waiting for this car. <laughs> nice try, Phil. What? Now, you're not going to like this, but you don't go anywhere unless I say so. A bit like the good old days, really, when I was acting D.I. You remember how much you loved that. Listen, you've got no idea how hard this is. Weaver isn't going to harm Madison. As far as he's concerned, she's still his daughter. Now, if he wants anything, he wants you. Now, I could turn my back and just let you walk into the trap. But that reflects badly on me, so we just stick together and we wait for forensics. This is Alami? Yes, that's me. Here she is. You can take her away now. Let's just calm down, eh? How did that happen? She attacked me, the old cow. Don't you talk to me like that. She was stealing. No, I wasn't. What's that there, on the floor? I was going to pay for them, you just didn't give me a chance. Where's your money? Whoa! I'm not showing you anything! Whoa! So you don't deny you had the items in your possession? No, but I was going to pay for them. Did she attempt to leave the shop? I didn't give her a chance. Did you give her a chance to pay? She had no intention of paying. So you've no witnesses and no proof she was stealing because you didn't let her leave the shop before paying? I know what I saw. What's your name? Shirley Moss. Age? 17. She's been in here before. I have her on the camera. Stealing. CCTV. Can you show us? Yes, I can find it. But she's making all of this up. She doesn't like me because I'm black. I don't like you because you steal. How did it happen? I was trying to stop her escaping. Can you let the girl answer? She grabbed my hair and smashed my head into the freezer. <sighs> you little... Sierra Oscar from 149. Yeah, request an ambulance. You're taking her to hospital? Four, You're not arresting her? We are arresting her, but we're also taking her to be treated as well. We'll take statements from you both and then we'll see what happens. She's a thief! Mrs. Alami, we'll see what happens. That means with you too. Me? But you can't go taking the law into your own hands. We could be looking at an assault charge. Now, if you could find that CCTV footage for us. There have been a number of allegations against you. Allegations? About what? With regards to criminal damage on motor vehicle clamps. Now, I have to tell you, Mr... Mr... Osborne. Mr Osborne, that if you continue committing criminal damage, you will be arrested. Well, I could go into speed cameras, congestion charges, motorway tolls, but no, let's stick to the vilest of all those injustices, the clamp. What do you say? He's a smart one. He knows all his rights. He's like an actual armchair solicitor. Listen, I think the only way we're going to nab him is if we catch him in the act and somehow I don't see that happening. Cameron, I've handled this thing all wrong. You can say that again. I just need some more time to think it over. I want to make the right decision. I suppose I did kind of rush into things. Which is kind of nice, but... But, like you say, you need more time. Yeah. Got any idea how much more time? <laughs> Look, let's just get on with this. Um, and whenever you want to talk... Thanks. You better put down all things to bold. So how long have you been homeless? Um, a while. Come on, let's take a seat. They'll call us. You do realise things don't look good for you. She has to prove I was shoplifting. I know that. She's accused you before. And she does claim you had the stuff shoved up your jumper. Yeah, well, I say I didn't. Well, she still could prosecute. And what have you been homeless and having no money? That's, that's just unfair. The one thing in your favour is you didn't leave the shop. 
Uh, she hit me? That's got to go in my favour. If you make an allegation of assault, it will be investigated. Yeah, and that's likely to stick, in it? A black girl against some poor, packy shopkeeper. Uh, that's racist. And that's never happened to me before, has it? No, no one's ever been racist to me before, have they? I imagine you can handle it. How do you handle it? How do you handle it when you're my age? Or were you just some silver spoon honey that just sailed through? <laughs> you were, weren't you? So don't pretend you understand. What's he playing at? What is it? Squeaver has texted me. What's he saying? I'll call. I suggest you answer. Don't let him play games with you, Phil. Don't answer it. Yeah. Daddy. Madison. Daddy. Madison. Weaver. Weaver, I'm going to kill you. Phil. Weaver. Phil. Phil. What's happening? He's had a call from Weaver. I don't know what he said, but don't worry, I won't lose him. Don't leave this to me. I'll handle him. You're forcing my hand, Phil. Listen, he rang me, right? Weaver rang me. Madison was crying. I can do this. No, you can't. Listen, she's my daughter. By going after Weaver, you're seriously jeopardising this whole operation. And you're putting Madison's safety at risk. You dug this over yourself, Phil. Now, the live with it or you're done, but I swear, if you start this car, you're saying goodbye to Sun Hill. It's your choice. I don't think you two realise what's at stake here. I told you, don't let him out of your sight. Gov. So? That was Madison on the phone, right? She was crying and she was calling my name. So you decided to go after him? It's not your daughter, though, is it? It's not. But if it was, I would do as I was told. But then that's the difference between you and me. Good cop, crap cop. You're really pushing your luck. No, you're pushing your luck by taking on a villain. You're loving this, aren't you? A child is missing here, Phil. That's what's important. Don't accuse me of getting off on it. Come on. Inside. Now. T02, we're there now. Here we go. All right, pack it in. He who won't be delayed. Yes, said. I don't you push me! Like you, as God is my witness, I will never get clamped again! Enough! What is this all about? He was trying to cut the clamp off. Mr Osborne, I presume. I don't have to give you my name unless you have a just cause for asking it. Yeah, we spoke on the phone earlier. What are you doing here? Well, there's no law saying I can't walk the highways freely. I phoned him. Told him my car was clamped, which it was because I clamped it. You set him up? Yes, and like a dream, out he came. Complete with cutter. And then started to take the clamp off. Is that what happened, Mr Osborne? Are you arresting me? Just answer the question. Do you admit causing criminal damage to this clamp? No, but I do admit to trying to saw it off. If you are responsible for sawing through the clamp, Mr Osborne... Which I, which I was, and I was perfectly within my rights because this gentleman asked me to. Of course I asked you to! I was trapping oh, you! I was just carrying out your request. There's nothing you can do about that. OK, I think we should go down the station. Take you, Mr. Yeah, but this charge won't hold up. You know that. We're not arresting you for this. We're arresting you on suspicion of causing criminal damage to a number of clamps in a period of two months. Have you got any witnesses? Got any proof? We'll work on it. You're destroying my business. That's the proof. Well, then you shouldn't go around asking people to cut off your clamps. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. I didn't do that shaving, did I? I think I know him from somewhere. Back in a minute. Hello, how are you doing? Sonny Johnson. Oh, yes, illegal. Was well, your name a secret? You can't come in here, I've done nothing wrong. Well, call it concern. I saw you were bleeding pretty badly. I just wanted to make sure you were being taken care of. Doing fine. What happened? Accident. 
or a knife slip when you were cutting the bread. Oh, get out of here. I just want to help. If somebody did this, then... Leave me alone. It's nothing. You never pass it off as a love bite. Look, if you don't get out of here, I'll have you done for harassment. Sorry. That's good. I've just checked this character out by the name of Sonny Johnson. Cheers. Now, apparently, he likes golf convertibles. He's been nicked a couple of times for stealing them. So you're thinking it could have been his golf this morning? Well, yeah, because he's also been dubbed possession. Right, well, we'll need to check his prints against those found in the car and on the bag when they come back. What made you think of him? I saw him at the hospital earlier with an unexplained slash throw. Someone upset he left their coat behind? Just a fool. Mm. Cookies. Change, three pounds and 42 pence. House keys. Visiting cards, how many? Eight. Arms out. Hi, Kerry. Hi. You okay? Yeah, hey, I'm fine. You nervous about something? No, it's just... Yesterday when we kissed, I was confused. I didn't know what I was doing. It seemed to me you knew exactly what you were doing. I don't want you getting the wrong impression. Well, I wouldn't do that now, would I? And I'd rather Cameron didn't know anything about this. Why is that? In case he thinks it's something that it wasn't. Oh, it was secret safe with me. Thanks. Do you want it to happen again? No, no. Cameron and I are together. I don't want anything to spoil that. Together? Well, that doesn't add up to much, does it? Actually, he asked me to marry him. And what did you say? I said yes. Congratulations. I was hoping she'd just don't to nick in this stuff, but she's not done it. We've got the CCTV tape, so let's see what she's got to say about that. L let me have a go. She might relate to me better, yeah? Hello, Shirley. Now, let me tell you how it is. At the moment, we're looking at a 50-50 situation. You nicked her stuff, we've got a previous on CCTV, and she clobbered you. Now, are you going to actually tell me what happened today? Why should I? You lot already have me down as guilty. These things sometimes have a way of working themselves out. Now, I can't speak for Mrs Alami, but I bet she doesn't want to go to all the bother of having to defend an assault charge. Are you offering me a deal? Look, I'm not offering you anything. I'm just stating it like it is. Well, I'm not interested. I want her done for assault. She hit me. Yeah, but I think we all know why, don't we? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to do you a favour here. I'm trying to help you walk away from this. But you're not giving me an inch. I could just leave you to my colleague. And what he wants is to see you charged. Yeah. Yes. Great. Well, thanks for rushing that through. Thanks, bye. Sorry. It's definitely coke. It's pure and it's uncut. Yeah, what about the fingerprints? Did they give you a time when they'll be back? A couple of hours at least. Who's that in? Neck bandage gives it away. Sonny Johnson? We'd like to talk to you about a VW that failed to stop at an accident. It wasn't me. I don't suppose you know anything about a quantity of cocaine that was found in the car? No. What happened to your neck? Accident. What sort of accident? Just mucking around with my mate. What well, can we have the name of this clumsy mate? What for? Verify your story. It's not a story, it's what happened. This mate. Did he uh, bring you to the hospital? No. You'd think that was the least he'd do, considering he accidentally slashed your throat. Look, I'm telling you, that's what happened. Let's just leave it at that. Well, we can always ask around, see if anyone knows about the accident. Yeah, so he's helping us with our cries. Hmm, because it wasn't an accident. You can't say that. I didn't say that. What are you worried about, Sonny? More than just a slash neck. I think we need a chat, don't you? Sonny Johnson, I'm arresting you on suspicion of supplying cocaine. You do not have to say anything. I'm trying to stand on my own two feet. That's what everyone keeps telling me. I don't think they meant going around nicking things. I need the money. And we all need money. For my rent. I'm staying in a B&B. &B. How long have you been there? A couple of weeks. Don't the social pay your rent? What, so you're paying for it by selling perfume and tights? It's not like that. So tell me what it's like. It's hard. It's hard for a lot of people. 
I don't think you've ever had it hard. Maybe. I can't go to prison. I just can't. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to prevent. If it was just... If it was just me... Well, there's someone else involved? Sort of. What, someone's making you do this? No, it's not like that. Oh. Right, how far gone are you? Two and a half months. What are you going to do? Oh, well, I'm keeping it. Huh? Yes, yeah, it's going to be a girl. I know it. Who's the father? Doesn't matter. What, he's not on the scene? Yeah, he's on the scene. Paying for me at the B&B. Oh, but he stopped now? No, but if he does, I'll be left high and dry without any cash. What's his name? Just leave him out of this. Have you been to social services? I've got to do this on my own. For the baby. If he does leave me, well then I'll be left with no cash and they'll take her off me. You know, I can't let that happen. Just... just can't. The girl's 17, she's living in a B&B, she's pregnant. It's not my fault. It's one time ten change. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I don't think the father of the baby's very supportive. She should have thought of that before she slept with him. So you're gonna go ahead with the shoplifting charge then? Absolutely. Right, well, if that's what you want. It is what I want. I've worked hard for everything I've got. It's not right people stealing it from me. Well, in that case, we've just got the business of the head wound and the assault charge. Assault charge? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. It seems that she wants to pursue that. But I was protecting my property. Yeah, I know. I know. And the amazing thing is, it's a more serious charge than the shoplifting, but, you know, like you say, all you were doing was looking after what's yours. Sonny, your real name? Samuel. Sorry? Samuel. Gov, I'll be back in a second. Where are you going? Just here. Okay. Is that your code runner? Yeah. Has he said anything? Nothing. And he's not likely to either. Listen, Samantha thinks he's going to lead us somewhere, but there's no chance of that. He's scared. Well, if somebody had smashed my neck, I think I'd be a bit nervous. Listen, this interview's just a waste of time. Well, you've got the prints on the coat bag and in the car. You can do it for that. Listen, sir. Is there any news about Madison? I'll tell you when there's anything relevant. I would have thought it was all relevant. But what I mean is, when we've got Weaver, I'll tell you, but not before. Osborne might not even be the only clan crusader. I mean, there could be loads of them. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, I was thinking he had some car keys on him, so he must have driven to remove the clamp, especially all that gear. We should have a look around, see if we can't find his vehicle. Right, Cameron, look. Um, last night, when you proposed... Cameron, I have held my hands up. I am sorry. My fault. Wrong time, wrong place. No, it wasn't that. Look, I've been thinking uh, about please, it. Please, I thought we were going to forget about it and move on. I know, but... Um... But, um, what? Nothing. We should search his house, too. Why don't you go and find the keys and see if we can't find the vehicle? Yes. Maybe there's a signed confession lodged in the sunlight. Just go and do it. And there, I was about to congratulate him. I'll go after him. No, don't bother. Why not? Uh, we're trying to keep it quiet. But you told me. You're not keeping something from me, are you, Kerry? No. You could tell me. We're close. There's nothing to tell, Gabriel. And I never mentioned anything to anyone about that bomb, did I? Yeah, I know. Thank you. And there it was on tape. For everyone to see. And you with your head somewhere else. Bang. Man blows himself to pieces. I know, Gabriel, and I'm grateful, but... You have wiped the tape, haven't you? Well, of course I did. I promised, didn't I? I promised her I'd keep an eye on you and you wouldn't be going into the shop again. Come on. So does that mean I don't have to go to court then? Yeah, but you have to drop any thought of an assault charge against her. OK, well, thank you. No more thieving. I'm taking you back to the B&B, so I know where you are. 
Right, he's all yours. What's the matter, Sonny? Nothing. Nothing. Yvonne. Have you seen Kerry and Cameron? No, I've been out all morning. Uh, you must have nipped off a glass of bubbly then. Why? What's happened? What about? Why would they be having champagne? Forget it. Might not be common knowledge yet. No, tell me. What are they celebrating? I won't tell anyone. Call yourself a copper. That bloke from the station, where do you know him from? I've never seen him before in my life. His name's Sonny Johnson. What's it to you? Like I said, nothing. You into drugs, Shirley? No. Never done drugs before in my life. And I never will now, because of my baby. Sonny Johnson's into drugs. Is he? That's up to him. He's a loser. So you do know him, then? Yeah, all right, I've seen him around. Who's this? Just a bloke. What's his name? Don't matter. Why won't you tell me? Because I like my face the way it is. Is he the father of your baby? Is he? Yeah. So what? I'm just concerned. Concerned about what? You! You're in a mess. You need a bit of help getting out of it. Do your mum and dad know you're pregnant? I haven't got a dad. Your mum, then? Why do you think I left home? She ain't exactly mother of the year. She's not been there for you. Not within a hundred miles. You know when you get those days on those programs? Make your mother queen for the day. I want to make my mother me for the day. Then she'll see what it's like. by the car. Right, thanks. Mustn't keep her waiting. No. She might think you'd do the same on the day. You can't keep a secret long in this place. I have got no idea what you're talking about. No, of course you don't. No, I don't. Secret sale about you two getting married. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, we know him. His name's Stuart Rifkin. There's a shed load of stuff on him. He's probably the biggest drug dealer around. We're talking sexual assault, procurement, but amazingly enough, he's got a clean sheet. Yeah, we haven't even had him in court. So who's this girl? Shirley Moss. I picked her up earlier for shoplifting. And who is she to Rifkin? She's having his child. He always has at least half a dozen girls in tow. How old is she? 17. He's got to be mid-30s. 36. He also said that she knows Johnson. Yeah, and Johnson does drugs. He also delivers them. It has to be for Rifkin on that patch. No one else would try to muscle in. Now, this Shirley Moss, you say she's having Rifkin's child. Uh-huh. She also knows our Mr. Sonny Johnson here, who we're fairly certain is a courier for Rifkin. Aren't we? Is there any chance she'll give us some info on both of them? Look, I tell you, this is going nowhere. All right, even before Rifkin's name came into the frame, I knew we were onto a loser. No one is going to say anything about him, all right? No one ever has, no one ever will. Well, Shirley might, but I think I'm getting through to her. Thanks, Yvonne. Good work. If she says anything at all, you let us know. OK. Thanks. Now, you listen. If we've got a thousand to one chance of nailing Rifkin, then we've got to take it. He's been giving us the runaround for too long. And what else have we got? Nothing. What about this informant of yours who lives on the Byron estate? Well, Fletcher, he's not going to know anything about Rifkin. Give him a ring, see what he says. Go on. It's going to be a waste of a call. Just do it. I don't follow you. I was just told the secret was out two minutes ago. What secret? About us getting married. Who said that? Gabriel. Gabriel, what have you said to him? 
You turn me down, you make me feel like an idiot for even asking you in the first place, and then you tell Gabriel? I was thinking about it, and I... Surely it is customary to tell the groom first, perhaps? But hey, what do I know? Maybe Gabriel is more important in all this than I am. He was going on at me, and it just came out. I wasn't thinking. Great. And then I thought, that's what I really want. That's why it came out, because I should have said yes. I wanted to tell you all morning. I want to marry you, Cameron, if you still want me. Of course, I still want you. Just wish you hadn't said anything. I know, I'm sorry, it was stupid. But this is what I want, I promise. Hey, Cameron, we're in full view, we're in uniform. I'll save that for later. <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks very much. Well, what did he say about Rifkin? He gave me an address. Where? Christine. Yeah, well, you heard anything? No, nothing. But I'll let you know as soon as I do, yeah? Yeah, I promise. But I've got to go. Well, what about this address? That Fletcher gave you... Oh, yes. It's a flat, all right, and Rifkin's dealing out of it. Now that's better. Yeah, it's well protected. Possibly firearms. Where is it? It's number 18, Marlborough House, on the Park Mead. Good. I think we should move on it. Yeah, well, the address needs corroborating first. We don't just only go on one source. You know that, Sergeant. Shirley? What happened? What I said would happen. He saw you. Your boyfriend. Rifkin. You know about him? I found out about him. But then you should have known what he'd do. He just started on me. Started yelling, saying I'd been mouthing off to the cops. I yelled back at him, and then the guy that owns the B&B, &B, he stepped in. He helped you out? He threw me out. I'm homeless now, thanks to you. Yeah. Where's Rifkin? I don't know and I don't care. He ditched you? I ditched him. I'm through with him. I don't want him anywhere near me and my baby. Only now I ain't got no place to stay. No money. All I'm gonna do. We're looking for a Citroen. Yeah, you know, it could be a van. If he's got a lot of gear, he might need something bigger than a car. It could be like Spider-Man and swing from building to building with his angle grinder on his back. There's a possibility. Mm-hmm. Bingo. Hmm. Looks good back here. Hey, Cam. What were you saying about a signed confession? You know, we're after Rifkin. We've got to put him away. You can help us. He's the father of my baby. He is also a drug dealer who'll go to any lengths to get what he wants. We believe it was him that cut Sonny Johnson earlier today. Johnson's fault. Should stay away from him. What do you know about Rifkin's dealing? I know this must be hard for you, talking about the father of your baby like this. But do you really want her to grow up in an environment where drugs are the most important thing? Well, do you? Shirley, I think you're really brave. Yeah, right. Yeah, brave in a lot of ways. Brave to come down here, brave to have a baby. Oh, it's not brave, is it? Having a baby. Well, I think it is. You know, you know, when I was your age, I got pregnant. I was too scared to go through with it. You know, my, my folks were great, you know. They helped me with everything. My mum came with me when I had the abortion. Couldn't have been better. Except, you know, I didn't have my baby. Well, if 
I tell you what I know about Rifkin, what happens to me? You get some kind of support. How? Even if you get him. He has loads of mates. I won't be safe. You do know that. Well, you can come and live with me. I mean, you know, till it all blows over. With you? Why not? Do you mean that? Yeah, of course I mean it. I mean, you know, they're but for the grace of God and all that. You know, I was just lucky. How can I have caused criminal damage? It's his property. He asked me to carry out the work. I was in the process of doing as he requested when he and his thugs assaulted me. And you defended yourself. Exactly, which is totally in my right so to do. This whole thing is an infringement of my civil liberties. I have to warn you, these cards were found at a number of incidents where illegal clamp removals have taken place. There's nothing to do with me. My van was broken into a couple of months ago. A batch of the cards were stolen. You expect us to believe that? The onus is on you to prove otherwise. Why did you have an angle grinder with you? I didn't. Mr Howell produced it and handed it to me. What? Again, you have to prove otherwise. This whole thing is entrapment. This was found in your van near where this afternoon's incident took place. I think you know what's written in it, Mr Osborne. Dates, times, places, vehicle registrations, all relating to clamp removals. I particularly like the personal comments you've added to the entry, such as vehicle owner, very attractive female, the type of woman you would ask around for sherry and volivants. I think it's time you gave us a truthful statement, Mr Osborne. I'll give you a statement. It is on behalf of the silent majority out there who are getting penalised, fined and harassed every day with rules and regulations that violate their human rights. I mean, I can be fined for parking on a road for which I've paid taxes to maintain. I mean, not only that, along comes this man, who I certainly haven't agreed to be a law enforcer, and then prevents me from going about my business by clamping my vehicle. Wednesday the 5th. Yeah, I've got it. Gov. We've just got corroboration on the park mead address Rifkin's dealing out of. Where from? Shirley Moss, she's Karen Rifkin's kid. OK, I'll get a warrant drawn up and we'll hit it in the morning. No, that's too late, Gov. Rifkin already knows that Shirley and Johnson have both been in custody today. If we don't do this now, they're going to move the drugs to another location. So how come she decided to talk? I promised her she'd be safe. A bit rash. Well, I said she could stay with me. All right, leave it with me. Gov. Here you go. You'll have to wait until I finish my shift. Oh, OK. It's not for a while yet. Oh, no problem. Please see anyway. Sir? Please see Meadows tells me that you've offered to house this young girl, Shirley Moss. That's right, sir. Well, I'm afraid that's totally inappropriate. I beg your pardon, sir. Stuart Rifkin is, as I understand it, the father of her child? Yes, yeah, sir. Right. And at this very moment in time, we're engaged in an operation aimed at arresting him. With all due respect, sir, I don't see what that's got to do with me looking after a pregnant 17-year-old. Corroboration of his drug activities came from this girl. In court, his defence team would have a field day. What I'm doing is not illegal. No, but it is irresponsible. And I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. Serious killing machine. Really? Really. I find one once, you know. When? On a firing range. Yeah, they have this certain smell about them, you know, when they fire. There's nothing like it, man. I bet. Rifkin would be well away by now. All right, he would have got wind of what is happening and he would have just moved his operation elsewhere. So why is he walking up the street? I think we should move in. Don't you? Rifkin is entering the flat as we speak. We're on. These guys, man, are so highly trained. Let's just hope it doesn't come down to a shootout. Yeah, right. But if it does, I know which side I'd rather go. Oh. 
Okay, it's cool. What a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any visitors. Oh, police! Don't move! Keep your hands away from your body! Police! Mind the cloth. Room clear! I hope you're going to make good any damage. This is a very desirable resident. Where's the case? What case? The case you came in with. Don't know what you're talking about. I think you must be hallucinating. You don't do drugs, do you? Never let your guard down. Take it easy, he's just a kid. I let him stay every now and then when his father's had a few too many and starts to beat him. Mr. Philanthropic, that's what they call me around here. Can you move this out of the way? I've been on to the council about that. They really should fix it. Board it up flat next door. <laughs> so that's where the case went. You keep going on about this case. <laughs> Hi. Off to your place then. Look, I'm really sorry, but we're going to have to sort out some different accommodation for you. <laughs> Should have guessed. Should have known. Look, this isn't down. I'm... If it was down to me, you'd still be coming back to my place. All that talk about us shacking up as buddies. Why, so I would tell you about Rifkin? No. Well, thanks a million. Look, I called social services. I sorted you out of place. Oh, you can stick your place. I'll do it by myself, thanks. I did it before and I'll do it again. I don't know why I listen to you. You're all the same, black or white. Oh, thanks, mate. You know, I I'm normally on the ball. I never let me guard down. Uh, no problem. Yeah, well, I said that was a waste of time. Do me a favour, button it when you fill. Dear Sansa. So where were you? When? When some kid appeared from nowhere. You should have been watching my back, man. Sorry, I'm just not as highly trained as SO90. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get back to the station. Was well, something happened? They found Madison. Weaver left her in a playground. She's OK. So, do you want to thank me? For not letting you take the bait? Yeah, I saw you. Can't keep your hands off men in uniform, mate. It's not what you think. Nah, no, don't blame me, mate. I mean, the bill, aren't they, the SO19, but... Mark is my partner. He likes to keep work and personal life as separate as possible, so don't say nada. You know what SO19 about? Hey, Mark. Hey, you take your coat off. Hey, I told you I didn't want anyone else to know. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd mind. I thought you'd be excited. I am. It's not that. I know, and you probably wanted to make the proper announcement. It wasn't my place to let the cat out of the bag. I'm sorry. So mummy's on her way. We've just received confirmation that the fingerprints found in the abandoned VW Golf and on the bag of cocaine match your fingerprints. I have to inform you that you will be charged with possession of a Class A drug and with intent to supply. Give us Rifkin and I might be able to put a word in. We don't grass on our own. You know that. No, no, no. That's not it, is it, Sonny? You don't have to try and save face for me. It's because you're too scared. Next time you might bypass A&E and go straight to the mortuary. Look at that! Yes! I'll be back in a minute. How did the raid go? Yeah, just like I thought it would. Oh, excuse me. There's Hunter. I was asking Phil about the raid. Gloating, was he? What, you got him? Did we hell? He was clean, the premises were clean, next door was clean. It was like Toy Town. Nothing bad in sight. So where's Rifkin now? Well, he's probably out on the street, dealing to his heart's content. You didn't arrest him? We had nothing to arrest him for. Yeah, well, I need times and places. 
Look, this doesn't reflect badly on you. Your information was correct. No, it's not that. It's the girl. If Rifkin's out there, she could go back to him. But oh, thank you. Yeah, all right. I'll see what I can do. So, D.S. Hunter's calmed down, then? Well, he better have. For Phil's sake, let's hope that Weaver stays as far away as possible. Incident at bed and breakfast on corner of Wells Street and Marshall Lane. Ambulance in attendance. Well, Fletcher's come up, Trunks. Looks like he knows where Rifkin's stash is. Right, so that was him on the phone? Yes. So where is this stash? I don't know. I've got to give him some money first. Well, did you get authorization from the DI? He wasn't there, so I left a message. Well, did you say he wanted payment? Yes! All right, you can drop the babysitting routine. Your moment of glory's over, all right? You failed. Now it's over to me, all right? I told you to ring him. Yeah, right. Shirley! Shirley! It was Rifkin, wasn't it? Yeah? It was him. But I'm gonna get him for you. I promise. This is gonna have to be something concrete. Rifkin doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, he plays games though, doesn't he? Took us for a ride today. Here we go. Where are you going? I'm watching your back. You stay in the car. No chance. Please yourself. time on the bill you leave people on don't you no. and then you deny that anything happened well you're not doing that with me nobody's heard from them normally i wouldn't worry but weaver this is between you 